Here I'm going to demonstrate how to record a notes receivable on your balance sheet. So in this case our notes receivable is going to have four payments that we receive against the note and then remember the notes receivable is an asset on the balance sheet and then we're going to have a discount here to notes receivable. We'll look at that and then we'll look at the revenues that the notes receivable is generated. So what we're looking at here is notes receivable is where we have four payments at the end of each of the next four years and then we discount that those payments back at a known interest rate to a present value here. Then once we know the present value and the payments we're going to receive and the notes receivable we'll determine our interest earned for each of those four years. So here we'll record our interest earned for each of those four years and then we'll also determine what its present value is here as uh, where it would be recorded in our revenue account here. All right, so next let's go back here and we have to go through the mechanics of determining what our interest uh, revenue is in each of those years so we can allocate that to our uh, revenue account. Okay, here we'll determine what our interest revenue is for each of the next four years and in this case we're going to have to know what our beginning balance is or what our present value of that notes receivable is and we have to know the interest rate. So let's go up here and look at our diagram. Uh, here we're, we show our four payments that we receive in that notes receivable and then uh, knowing an interest rate or given an interest rate we can determine the present value discounting these four payments back and we would do that uh, using either an Excel function here or in your calculator where you got the rate number of periods and in this case you put the payment in okay now let's look at the case here where we didn't know what our interest rate was here and in that case we'd have to know what our present value is here and of course we know what our future um, values here are for our payments. So to determine our interest rate we'd go up here and use the internal rate of return function. So you put in your cash flows and then it calculates your interest uh, interest rate. Alright, so in either case we'd come down here and start calculating our interest expense. So we'd have a, know what our future or present value is of the notes receivable and then we know what our interest rate is so to determine our interest expense here we take the present value times our interest rate and we get our interest expense here then we'd add the or interest revenue excuse me then we'd add the interest revenue to the beginning balance and then we'd subtract out that payment we make at the end of the year and we get an ending balance so the ending balance in year one becomes the beginning balance in year two. So here we'd go through it again and multiply the beginning balance times our interest uh, rate and we get our interest expense for the second year. Then we subtract out that payment at the end of the year and we get our ending balance for year two. Now year three and year four we'd go through the same uh, steps here to determine our interest expense our interest revenue, excuse me. So here we have our interest revenue for each of the four years. All right, let's look at our journal entries here to notes receivable, which is an asset on the balance sheet. So at the beginning of year one, we increased our notes receivable or debited it here for $4,000. And then each year that we received our payment here for the notes receivable, we reduced our notes receivable by crediting it and then the associated debit entry here is the cash for those uh, payments that we received. Now if we go over here and look at our revenues earned on the notes receivable which is part of net income on the income statement uh, in beginning year one we recognized the $3,170 present value of that notes receivable and then each year we recognize our interest revenue earned on it. So at the end of the fourth year we got the $3,170 uh, present value plus that interest earned each year equals four thousand dollars. 
So that balances with the notes receivable of 4000 So now we have to go down and look at our discount in notes receivable. Now our discount here is a contra account to notes receivable, and we'll just see how it works here. But it's first calculated out here. Uh, I got $830 here. So it was our $4,000 payments that we received in notes receivable less their present value of $3,100 was $830. So if we go here and see see how it's a balancing entry. So first we had our $4,000 debit here to notes receivable beginning of year one and then we had our revenues of $3,170. That was its present value in year one and then we needed that balancing entry here which is the discount to notes receivable which is another credit balance of $830. So now if we go down here uh, and see how we reduced our discount uh, on notes receivable. Each year as the revenues, interest revenue is earned, we discount notes receivable by that amount. So if we look here, the uh, payment here, $1,000 in our notes receivable, was reduced here by the interest earned on that notes receivable. So $1,000 minus $370. So the, we, that's how we divvied up here. Divvied, our pay, divvied up our payment on that notes receivable and recognize the interest earned on that notes receivable here. So our discount to notes receivable at the end of the fourth year, we've got a zero balance in here, 830 minus 830. Now the um, credit entry for a discount notes receivable is over here on the in the revenues account here where we recognize our interest earned each year on that notes receivable. So this is just a summary on how you would record notes receivable where we had uh, in this case four payments at the end of the four years that notes was outstanding.